Hi viewers, welcome again to Handy Dandy Husband's YouTube channel. Today, we are going to show you a way to reuse your old toothbrushes to keep them from the landfill and better clean things that are long, narrow or shallow, but circular or short. Everyone has toothbrushes that have reached the end of their useful life to brush your teeth. It is, in my opinion, important for the cleanliness of your teeth and to avoid unnecessary harshness to, to your gums to replace your toothbrush often. No. Now, of course, the, to the used uh, toothbrush um, is great for your scrubbing and, and for agitating action when you're trying to clean something, but the straight and rigid, relatively rigid nature of the toothbrush make it ideal for your mouth, but not, not so ideal to clean items that uh, are not uh, specifically straight. For example, this water bottle, trying to clean the bottom of it with this toothbrush or even the sides of it um, is going to be difficult. Also, the inside of this, which is really dirty, is hard to clean with this toothbrush and also the thermos. How do you clean the bottoms of the thermos when the toothbrush bristles are pointing in one direction? So in this video we're going to show you how to make better use of the toothbrush so that it can do more things for you uh, and be applicable to more surfaces. Alright, uh, the items that you'll need to perform this alteration is a pair of pliers. Now I use my duck build non-marring pliers. You could also use some needle nose pliers. A heat source. I'm using a lighter but of course you could use a candle or even a um, heat gun. A pair of gloves. A non flammable surface. I'm using a wooden cutting board and as you know I reuse everything and this is my wife's old cutting board uh, which I've uh, uh, repurposed as a surface to do work on and of course a used toothbrush. All right let's start. I'm gonna put the gloves on. I'm going to put this on the side. I'm going to turn on the heat source and I'm not going to melt the plastic. I'm just going to put the heat source on to gently heat it up. It should not burn. It should just gently heat up the plastic. Once it's heated to a certain degree, you can test it. Oops, so I applied too much pressure when I was bending it and not enough heat. So the actual br toothbrush broke right in the area that I was bending it. So what I did do was I applied more heat to get an angle further down. And then with the broken piece, I applied heat in this area and bent it up. After that, I heated both pieces and just joined them together for about a minute and they're no longer breaking. So if this happens to you and you do break the toothbrush by accident, just remember that it can be um, sort of uh, heat welded back together, uh, but of course it looks really bad. Um, so that's, so we'll go on to another toothbrush. Uh, this is just to show you how it can form and this is 90 degrees and 45 degrees. Um, and the other one will just make it a 90 degree uh, uh, turn. All right, um, as you can tell, this is not the same toothbrush that we were using earlier. So I'm gonna be repurposing this toothbrush. And what you do is you just heat up the head. And then have a helper hold on to the end while you grab the pliers.
and then it's going to slowly start to melt. Okay? Now, as you can tell, this is at 45 degrees. What can happen is you can always bend it more by applying more heat. And it's just going to take some time to cool down. I, as you can tell, I singed some of the bristles. Now, this is a hard toothbrush, and this is even better for cleaning uh, because the bristles are really hard, not as soft as the earlier Dr. Perio that I was using. All right, so I've let it uh, rest on the board for a little while, and the reason why I did so was just to let the plastic cool down somewhat because I want to make this a full 90 degrees without uh, weakening the plastic too much. So I'm going to heat it up again. It's pretty firm now. I'm going to heat, up, heat it up again. Hold it in place for a little while so it doesn't bend out of shape. You can tell it's, it's at the desired angle that I want it to be. And I'm just going to let it sit for a bit. All right, we've uh, let the toothbrush uh, cool down. And now, once it's been uh, allowed to cool down, we can see if it's good for our purposes. And as you can see, now that it's um, at an angle, it can fully scrub the areas that we need it to scrub. Even inside a water bottle, if it was long enough. Obviously inside the thermos, the bottoms of the thermos. And even Inside the narrow canteen, it can go in and scrub. Hope you found this uh, video informative and helpful, guys. Uh, we welcome you to join us in our journey to save money and the environment. And I hope this how-to video helps you in reusing your old toothbrushes. Thanks. Bye for now.